Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of a Flowdesk checkout. Um, checkouts are brand new from Flowdesk. You'll see that they still have this beta sign here, but they're a great way to sell digital products. Um, so anything like guides or courses, um, or if we wanted to, we could even do like our web design templates through here. And I love the way that Flowdesk has streamlined the process and they really make the design easy. So in order to get started, you'll come up to checkouts and then you'll want to create a new checkout. And I believe that if you're doing this for the first time, you're also going to need to connect your Stripe account and do some verifications. I've already done that with our account and I don't want to show off any Stripe codes. So I'm not going to walk you through that today, but it's really straightforward and Flowdesk walks you through the whole process. The first thing that you'll do is select a landing page design. And so this landing page will also come with a checkout and it will also come with a page that delivers your file afterwards. All of the landing pages have really great design, but they're also really easy to customize for your brand. So you can change any of the fonts to a whole lot of fonts that Flowdesk has built in. You can bring in your brand colors and you can add in different sections from other pages in order to flush out your design. So um, for demo purposes, let's say that I'm going to start with this section, this design, um, but you can use really any of them. I would go with the one that has the most layouts that you like. So let's go with view details. Um, and here you can scroll down and see the whole sales page and what it looks like. You can see the checkout. Um, the checkouts are all kind of similar between the different designs. And then you can see the final delivery page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on customize. And now we can start to add our content and customize it for the product that we're selling. So let's say that I'm going to sell a web design course. I could change this to web, maybe show it web design course. And I think the script is really hard to read and it doesn't really match our brand. So I might change it to something like Mino and then make it a little bit smaller. And then just like with any Flowdesk email or landing page, you can start to add in your own images by clicking on them and clicking upload. So I can upload an image right here. Um, I can drag it to change where it's cropped. If you want to add any different blocks, all you have to do is hover over the space between two blocks and click on add block. And then from here, you get access to their whole library of different sections. So let's say I wanted my next section to be something with a headline, and then maybe we outline three benefits of my product. Um, it's really easy to just add that in here. And then if you also have product or sections that you don't need, you can click on any section and just hit trash. If we keep scrolling down, we'll see that there are buttons that are automatically going to link to the checkout um, and they have buttons scattered throughout. You can also click on any image to change the shape. You can add in videos. If you have like a video testimonial or a demo of your product um, and so forth. So there's really a lot that you can do to this sales page to customize it for your product. Once you're done with the sales page, you'll want to head over to the checkout. And this is where you'll actually put in the pricing for your product. So if we click on anything, we can start to customize it. So I'll go to product first. Um, and here I could change the pricing. So if I wanted my product to be $1.99 normally, but on sale for $1.19, you could even make it free. You can upload an image of your product. So we'll just upload them that I have on my desktop right there. Um, and then people will see your little We'll switch it like that. People will see your product right there. You can add an upsells if you have an upsell product. Um, you can customize where people go once they purchase your product. Um, like if you want them to opt into a, a, a specific list, you could do that here. Um, you can even do a little bit more segmenting with upsells and such. There's an option to add a testimonial to your page and upload an image of the person who is giving the testimonial. And then you can also add discounts. So to do that, you click on add new and maybe you have like a welcome offer for people who sign up for your mailing list. You could give them a discount code like welcome 10. Maybe you only want it to apply to the main product and not the upsell. We can give it a percent and maybe we make that 
10 right there. And then you can also toggle between it being active or inactive. So once we do that, it's been saved and created. If you click on the page right here, it also gives you a few more things that you can um, toggle on or off. So if we are gonna use discount codes, you might wanna consider turning that discount code on or off. If you're gonna link to terms and conditions, you can do that here. And if you click on it, then you can put in your own terms and conditions there um, and so forth. And then the last page that people will have access to once they hit purchase is your file delivery page. So this is where you would say, thanks for joining. You, they get the receipt. Maybe they see another image of the product. Um, and then this is how you tell them to access the course, or maybe you give them a link to download a file and you'd want to house that somewhere like Dropbox or Google drive or Amazon web servers. And if you have a link to like a Facebook group or a support course, um, you could also use these other links down here to add those. I'm gonna click on the page again, and this is where you can toggle your logo on or off, um, the directions, if you're gonna use the download, if you wanna have an upsell, like this is an upsell that links people to a special gift um, or a bonus offer, you can turn those sections on and off but you don't have to use these as other pitches. You could use them for additional directions or additional downloads. Once you've done all of those things, you can go ahead and hit publish, and then you will receive this link to your custom Flowdesk checkout.